More than two years since its invasion, Russia launching a new offensive that could cost Ukraine the war, according to top U.S. and Ukrainian military leaders. Ukrainians on the front lines are running out of ammunition, men, and resources. The situation is extremely serious. And without vital U.S. support, top generals warn the situation will only get worse. A $61 billion aid package stuck in Congress for months, leaving Ukrainians exposed on the battlefield. If we do not continue to support Ukraine, Ukraine will run out of artillery shells and will run out of air defense interceptors um, in fairly short order. General Christopher Cavoli leads the U.S. European Command and oversees the multinational effort to train Ukrainian forces on battle tanks, F-16 fighter jets, and artillery. But General Cavoli says that as Russia steps up their attacks, the situation in Ukraine becomes more dire. Russia is currently firing five artillery shells for every one fired by Ukrainian forces, a disparity that could increase in the coming weeks to 10 to 1, according to Cavoli. Based on my experience in 37 plus years in the U.S. military, if one side can shoot and the other side can't shoot back, the side that can't shoot back loses. Top generals in Ukraine also sounding the alarm as Russian forces outnumber Ukrainian troops seven to ten times in the east. We're holding the defenses to the last breath, said this Ukrainian general. These remarks coming after Parliament just passed a controversial new law to boost conscription, lowering the draft eligible age from 27 to 25. Sparking outrage and protests across the country. Our boys and girls in the service are very tired, said this local resident. They've been fighting for two years and no one is planning to replace them. As the need for America's continued support only grows more pressing by the minute. Their ability to defend their terrain that they currently hold and their airspace would fade rapidly, will fade rapidly without the, um, without the supplemental, without continued U.S. support. Matt Bradley joins us tonight from London. So, Matt, as Ukraine is desperately asking for more weapons from the U.S., Russia is actually getting some foreign support as well? Yeah, I mean, Tom, when we're talking about all of those problems that Ukraine has in terms of supplies and weapons, Russia has all those same problems, too, and has for quite a long time. But Russia's Vladimir Putin has a friend in China's Xi Jinping. Now, Russia has been going to China asking for more weapons and help. And now NBC News is told by a senior American official that the People's Republic of China has been uh, providing materiel to the Russians, not necessarily a lot of hard weapons, but things like technology transfer microelectronics, other technology that is helping in its industrial base, not necessarily providing weapons itself, but helping Russia improve its industrial defense capacity, crucial to sustaining its now more than two-year-long war effort in Ukraine. Tom. Matt Bradley from London tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.